In this video, I'll show you how to build this really easy 15 gallon compost tumbler for just a few bucks. So I've got a compost tumbler here. And it does a pretty good job, but the problem is, is that you always have a mix of new and old. So I can go ahead and spin this, but now here's the really good stuff here down at the bottom. And this is pretty much all ready to go. But the problem is, is that every day I add new material and then the entire bin is never just done. So I need to do this in smaller batches. And this is why I built my 15 gallon composter. Now that the frame is built, I'm ready to put on the vertical supports. And I'm going to screw these in from the bottom, and then I'm going to support them with corner blocks. I need to drill some small holes and hopefully they're smaller than the average size worm so that they don't escape. And on the side, this is going to be for ventilation. And then on the bottom of the buckets, I'm going to use it for drainage. So this is one of the buckets that I've been using for uh, this batch type composting with worms. And I just, I needed the bucket, so I went ahead and just poured it into here. I'm just going to take out the watermelon that I had for them. So this is part of the problem with not being able to tumble in a five gallon bucket. What happens is that you get these clumps like this and there's no air circulating in here and then that has a tendency to build up the uh, wrong bacteria so that's the anaerobic bacteria and we don't want that so we want aerobic bacteria and we want to have it like this where it's fully aerated so these worms were down at the bottom so i'm going to 
put a lid on and then tumble it and then try and shake them up a little bit and then I'm going to break up this clump. Alright, need to get a new lid, but this will work for now. Okay, oh, great, I'm going to turn that up. So now you can see that it, not every one of them is broken up, but there are, it's a lot more broken up than it was a few minutes ago. And if you do this every day, then those clumps are not going to develop to begin with. And then this one will be done in just a very short amount of time, or before since they've gone anaerobic, the worms try to avoid the really toxic areas. And so now they'll be a lot healthier for the colony. So they love watermelons. So I'm going to put this watermelon back in. Let them eat that. Now one thing I need to do is buy new lids. I've got all these different things going on. So this one's got some holes in it and I just screwed a board on. And I want to get the type that has a screw on it so that you can just unscrew it and take it out instead of having to try and fight this seal. And in the next video, I'll show you how we get this working a little bit more efficiently. Uh, so here's the next one. I'm going to put in some, some compost to get some mix of greens and browns in there. And then this one is totally full. So I'll just spin this every day for a while. That's going to be a lot better. Now, and then I've got, and I'll start another batch over here in this empty one, and we'll be good to go. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.